Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I just want to go over uh, 10 films that I think are great introductions to horror. Hi guys, welcome back. I just want to uh, kind of talk about some movies that I think are great like introductions to the genre of horror. I know not everybody is a horror fan. I, like, actually, I know there's a lot of people that uh, don't prefer watching horror movies at all. And um, this is kind of a video that um, it's like a, for the people who are interested in horror but like don't really know where to start or you know there's kind of like trying to uh, feel out the genre and trying to kind of like um, see if it's something that they actually are interested in uh, diving into. I know there are like so many subgenres to uh, horror. There are like you know slashers, the psychological thrillers, there is paranormal, um, you know there is home invasion, there's all kinds of pretty much any genre of film um, is also within the horror genre in my opinion. Um, so I'm just going to kind of talk about some movies that, you know, if you have a friend that is interested in but doesn't really know where to start, these are some recommendations that um, you can also like watch with them or, uh, or if you're just also interested in horror yourself and you don't really know where to start, you could check these out. Uh, obviously, this is my opinion. Um, there are endless places to start with the genre of horror. That's why I love it so much. And uh, you might agree, you might disagree. Um, but yeah, these are just some that I kind of um, came up with. So starting off, this is kind of cheating um, on my top, I guess, 10. Um, also, I should say this is in no particular order. So uh, this is kind of cheating for it, but I'm counting this as one movie. Uh, it's not necessarily one movie. It's actually, you know, 30 movies, but... Um, Really, any of these movies would be a fantastic place to start. Obviously, I would recommend starting with the originals and then moving on to the sequels of these, um, but that would be the Universal uh, Monster movies. So, um, or these are Universal Classic Monsters, I'm sorry. Uh, so this is Dracula, Frankenstein, Wolfman, Invisible Man, uh, The Mummy, uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon, um, Phantom of the Opera, and and, uh, the Bride of Frankenstein. Those are like the original like core films. Um, and obviously there are a ton of sequels. There's, you know, um, let's see, like Werewolf of London, Dr or Doc or Dracula's Daughter, I'm sorry, Son of Frankenstein. There's all kinds of sequels that I would obviously recommend checking out the, the original films and then moving on to the sequels. All of these are black and white except for um, Phantom of the Opera, I believe. And... Um, so, like, they're really, like, overall, really not scary, uh, but they're really just, like, fun, classic uh, monster movies. Uh, I think Frankenstein was one of the first ones, if not the first, of the uh, Universal Monster movies that I ever saw. And so, um, yeah, it's just a great introduction to the genre of horror, uh, which was, I mean, these are all from, like, the 30s. And so, um, I mean, starting in 1931 and finishing up in 1956. And so, you know, they, they kind of span a nice uh, time period. And um, yeah, just great movies all around. These, this is definitely not the first uh, or the last, I should say, on this list that are in black and white. So uh, moving on to the next pick. This is a film that actually this is what got me into horror. Uh, this is a, a movie that um, I remember when I was younger, I... 
uh, would go to the library a lot and but this is before I was 17 and so you weren't allowed checking out R-rated films when you were at the library because there was an age restriction on R-rated uh, material and so uh, when I was really young I would try to uh, find as many PG-13 films as I could or PG for that matter uh, but this was one of the first if not actually this was the first horror film that I ever saw and this was PG-13, and so I think it's a great uh, introduction to the genre of horror. Uh, at least this is just with my experience, but uh, that is the film The Ring. Now, this is the remake, the American remake, I should say. Uh, this was from, uh, where was it? 2002? 2003? I think it was 2003. Um... So it has that early 2000s feeling to it. And it's really like not horribly scary. There are definitely some like scarier scenes. And so uh, if you're like easily frightened, I guess, um, they, those might be a little like disturbing to, for you. But I would recommend checking this out as a like first horror movie because I feel like it has a nice blend of um, like mystery and horror elements to it that I feel like you could kind of get the feeling of what like that like almost like supernatural horror uh, would be. Uh, the next one here, this is again another PG-13 rated uh, horror film that I feel like is a great introduction to like the the like giant creature features uh, where, um, yeah, there's just like a big bug or a big monster of some kind. And that is the film Eight-Legged Freaks. Um, and so this is another great one just to, you know, it's almost... Um, I don't know. It's just a fun film. I feel like it's not horribly scary as well. And um, yeah, I feel like you could just check this out. Uh, this isn't one that would be necessarily like too scary to watch. I would probably not necessarily show any of these to like young kids yet. Uh, this, this is more for, you know, if you're like a teenager or young adults that you're kind of like wanting to get into horror, I would recommend checking some of these out. Uh, the next one, you could probably show this to a young kid. I don't know. I, do what you want. Don't take my advice on uh, what you want to show to your kid because I don't want to be responsible for that. But the next one, um, I would recommend checking this out if you haven't seen it already. This is just a classic film. Uh, and that was the film Jaws. Now, Obviously, this is a huge movie that everyone um, has probably seen by now, but this kind of goes along with the same uh, like monster type of movies where it's a killer shark. And I feel like there's really not too many like sequences within this film that is like necessarily scary, but it's just a well-rounded story. And I feel like that would be a good introduction to, um, to horror. And the next one, this is one that I um, was actually, this was not in my horror section for the longest time because I personally didn't even really consider it to be a horror film. Uh, but then the more I thought about it, I actually did a poll on Instagram and I kind of decided that it's probably more horror than just drama or whatever. So I, um, I decided to put it in my horror collection and that is the film Gremlins. So... If you've seen this movie, it's it's kind of, it's like borderline horror. Um, it could probably fall under like, I mean, technically it could fall under Christmas, it could fall under family, it could fall under sci-fi almost. It, it, it could fall under multiple different genres. And so it's not like necessarily scary um, in that way, but this is a great like way to kind of like get into uh, horror, but um yeah, the next one here, this is kind of a, a good, like, introduction to, like, alien type of horror or, um, like, invasion type of horror, and that is the film Signs. Um, so, uh, it's definitely, I would say there's really only, like, a handful of sequences that is, like, like, probably the only one that's really, like, shocking is the one where it's, like, the videotape, um, or the recording of alien um and that's all i'm going to say about it because i don't want to spoil too much but um yeah overall i think it's just like a fun film i think it's like it has that like similar to the ring it has like that early 2000s feeling i think this is from uh i'm not sure when this came out um but it has an early 2000s feeling where uh it is kind of like you know, it's not too scary necessarily, and there's a lot of like almost like mystery to it. Um, and the next one, this is a just a classic that I think everyone has or has probably seen or should see by now. Um, and that's a film from 1968, and that is Night of the Living Dead. 
And so I've talked about this a little bit on this channel before, but um, this is just a classic. Uh, you definitely just need to see this film. I think this is a fantastic introduction to the zombie genre, uh, where it's really not like scary in the way that, um, oh, I don't know, like some of the news like zombie films would might be uh, it is all in black and white so you have like that aspect where it's not going to be super like graphic by any means but um yeah it just i think it's just a great um way to get into the zombie genre i mean it is the first pretty much the first genre, uh, zombie movie and so i um yeah, I mean, there's no better place to start than the actual beginning of the genre, so. And then this one is uh, another one that the the remake for this film is better than the original. However, I would probably recommend, if you are just getting into horror, I would recommend checking out the original first. And that is the film from 1951, and that is The Thing from Another World. Uh, so this is another black and white uh, film. It's only 87 minutes long, so it's really not too long. And um, yeah, just a fun film. I feel like obviously the the uh, John Carpenter remake, The Thing, is a far better film um, than this. But I feel like this one, again, isn't too scary that you could actually just enjoy and just, um, you know, just kind of dip your toes into uh, horror. I would recommend if you did see, if you did watch The Thing and you liked it, um, I would probably say like, you know, maybe do some research on John Carpenter's The Thing and see if that's going to be something that you're interested in uh, before you just dive into it because it is, uh, the, the special effects definitely, you know, are way more like newer and just like ramped up. And the next one here, uh, this is another black and white film that there's been other remakes now for it. Um, and that is the film from 1956 and that is Invasion of the Body Snatchers. So again, there's been better versions of this film made than the original. However, I would recommend checking out the original uh, first, just because of, um, I mean, a lot of these movies from like the 50s, they were really not like scary. Um, the effects were so like cheesy that like, they're more fun. Um, but I would just say like, you know, I don't know, watch this before you watch the remakes. And if you are interested, just again, do research um, and check out if that's something that you would be interested in. Because I know some people are, you know, don't like blood or don't like, um, you know, graphic uh, material. And that's totally cool. Um, but I would just always do research on the things that you um, watch before. Uh, the next one here, this is uh, probably, yeah, this is the only R-rated feature on this uh, list. And that is the film from 1960. Yeah, 1960. Um, and that is the film Psycho by Alfred Hitchcock. Um, and this one I was actually kind of debating if I wanted to add onto this list, although I decided to add it because if you are interested in the slasher genre, um, I would recommend checking this out first, mainly because it, it has the elements of a, a great like slasher uh, where it's, you know, a killer and um, stuff like that. Uh, but I feel like Psycho is, it's because when it came out, it is so like, not even remotely as like gory as uh, today's movies. I feel like it's a great movie just to start with because um, it all is in black and white and I feel like it just, I don't know, it has that like old time feeling to it. So that's the, the list of 10 films um, in no particular order. Let me know in the comments down below um, if you agree with these, uh, if you disagree, I am curious. If there's any other like um, like gateway horror films that um, you would recommend to your friends? Is there any ones that like you started off with? I'm curious if, you know, what what movies got you into the genre of horror? Because um, again, it's not for everyone, but um, everybody that is into horror started somewhere. So, but thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate uh, you taking the time to watch this and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.